Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. It's time to finally leave this room and see what the rest of the mansion has to offer. Except with one slight problem. I can't move the character. There we go. I guess I didn't have the window active. Whoa. Is that coming from the door I just closed? What is that? What the hell am I seeing up there? What the fuck is that? No, no, not the clock. That's not the thing you should be examining. Are those blood trips? Dripping down the wall? I think that's supposed to be like a demonic presence kind of thing, but it honestly it looks like a visual glitch. Hmm. Yeah, so I explored all of this room, yes. Ugh. Where's that coming from? Hmm. Thought maybe it was the cop, but doesn't seem like it. I think it's just demonic tapping. Alright, let's check out this room. Can move it left and right and up and down, but the lever for up and down seems to be missing. A crank socket is mounted in the telescope and appears to be linked to a mirror supported by a brass pedestal. A curious contraption, to be sure. What purpose can it possibly serve? Well, I mean, there's arrows on it. Should Alex adjust the mirror? Sure. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if I can't adjust the other one, I think. This one's also... ...missing. So this one can go up and down, but not left and right. I don't actually see anything moving when I do this, though. globe cradled in a wooden frame. Its glossy surface is painted in the likeness of an ancient map. A lens is situated in the northern hemisphere above a label that reads, There be dragons here. What that... Jeweler... Whatever that is. Or lens, I guess. That lens looks just like these other lenses. And that's pointing up to some jewel thing up there. What is that? Yet another one. Keep moving it, is something gonna happen? No, I think this only matters. I like I feel like at some point there's going to be a laser beam or like a sunshine beam going through here, and then when I adjust this, I'll actually see the beam moving. At the moment, I obviously don't see that. Every bookshelf is a potential hidden door or hidden lever. Okay, that was all just that one door. <laughs> all the first three episodes of this series were filmed through that door. 
Let's try some of the others. Oh, what time of day is it, by the way? Is it full nighttime now? No, nope, still like twilight. I believe this door was locked. Yes, and what keys do I have again? Dresser key, second floor key. Can't be for that door then. Cozy in here. That's an odd door. A wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of the lock. A colored sigil is carved into the wood above a wide slot. The slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade. Looks exactly like the gladius that I have. Oh. Huh. Alex places the blade in the slot, but feels it push back. It's as if the magic of the blade does not fit the lock. Hmm, it does have that symbol above it. Yeah, so I guess I have to imbue it with that symbol or something. Ooh. A grand piano stands here, waiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, Edward never really lived up to that description, and as such, the piano fell into disuse. The table is set for one. Alex's grandfather. Oh, it's set. Oh, it's set for one. Alex's grandfather. Edward's private nature meant that he never had many visitors, and this is the lonely evidence of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's hilarious. <laughs> this is... <laughs> These photographs are so blurry, you can never possibly make out anything, and this is with the game running upscaled... Well, not upscaled, but actually genuinely running at... 1080p, three times the native resolution. At the original resolution, this would be even worse. You can't see anything. The runes. The illustration features a collection of strange lined designs related to each other in a cyclical manner. There appears to be some significance to it, but it isn't particularly evident. Those are big enough that I can actually make out something. A lake scene and then uh, some trees. Second floor time. Already heard that description. Also, already so blood just came out of that painting. Blood's coming out of all these paintings, actually. Hmm. This must be locked. Second floor key, right? The key comes apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there's a way of repairing it. Crappy old thing. Okay, so I need that magic. I don't, I mean, I don't have those runes, right? Wait, I keep those? 
It did say the tome was a way of storing magic, right? Huh, so that persists between characters. Okay. Sweet. I assume the quick spell is still set, yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, let's enhance my blade. And now that that's enchanted, it might fit in the door, possibly. It is glowing red, though, and the symbol looked blue. Makes me think it still might not be compatible. A serene painting of a luscious mountain valley, delicately rendered in oils. Time has taken its toll on the surface, which is soiled with dirt and scratches. What's up with the rug? A musty aroma hangs in the air, and a layer of fine dust lies on all surfaces of the room. It seems as if no one has been in here for a long time. It's almost like a museum. Revolver ammunition? Chapter page has been hastily stashed behind the frame of the painting. Ooh. Yes, please. The gift of forever. Well, I've already spent so much time in those chapters. I want to explore more of the mansion. Wait, what did that say? An oddly proportioned painting of a man in somewhat Napoleonic garb. Obviously an intentional exaggeration. It gives the painting an oddly quirky feel. Secret door. Eh, I'll check it later. It's too dark in here to do anything. Perhaps the circuit has been broken. Okay. The wallpaper in this section of the hallway is oddly marred as though the wall it sits on is not even with the rest of the room. Also, the lighting on it is very strange. Well, I guess there's a button or something. Huh. Whoa. The stained glass depicts a glowing medieval maiden, luminous even with the faint light of the settling sun. The maiden clasps a piece of parchment in her hands. The window gives Alex a strange feeling, almost as if it is magical and not really there. A glowing field of energy protects the window. Oh, Christ! I thought maybe this rune was like right in front of it and I could pick it up, but... No, looks, ooh, looks like it's protecting it. Probably I need to cast that type of magic Ooh. to get rid of it.
I don't have any healing, do I? No. Wait. Did the magic wear off on my blade? I wonder if it wears off with time or with use. So what could possibly open that? It's got to be nearby, right? A book. One of the paintings. It's hard to tell what could be a new thing to examine and what's just the same old thing. Let me just check next... Oh, right, it could be in here, and I just need to get the circuit breaker up and going. Hmm. I doubt it would be all the way over here for the switch, but, I mean, it could be. Gotta make sure I check every painting just in case. Whoa! Oh, yeah, that's not... That's not weird at all. Hi. If it happened once, subtly, it would be maybe creepy, but the fact that it it's just still there, it's just it's just weird. It just seems like a very, very poorly disguised security camera kind of thing. If you can see it, there's a clock on the nightstand there. It's very small, but it actually says 333 as well. I imagine, rendered to the original resolution, you probably couldn't even read that whatsoever. I almost want to try to use the dresser key here, but I can't even examine the dresser. Alex questions the presence of a lush landscape amidst these other morbid pieces. Could it be a single ray of hope encircled by the encroaching darkness? Ooh. One of the drawers in the dresser curiously has no keyhole. In its place is a small triangular design flanked by a magical symbol. Well, I guess it's probably now where I'm going to use the key then. Alex searches the drawer for some means of unlocking it, but can find none. However, the key is definitely a dresser key. Can I enchant it? No. I need some other magic thing. Which I don't have, right? I mean, I haven't gotten any new runes, have I? This is the only one I can start with, and these are the only two ones I can go with. No. Nah. So what symbol is that? It's that symbol. You know the one. Do I have it in my list of runes? No, I don't. A page from the Journal of Maximilian Roivus. So that's not from the tome, right? So that won't take me into a new chapter, kind of thing? Oh, fuck! Jesus, that scared me! <sighs> That's the first time the game's actually scared me. The second time the game has scared me is just now as I realize just how fucking dirty that toilet is. Look at that. Look at that toilet. That is disgusting. It looks like it's from Silent Hill. Let's take a look at the journal. Oh, right. I can also mix stuff. 
just trying to think if I could mix the key with anything. I don't think so. Everything that brightened my life now engulfed me in darkness. I fed on the light of truth, yet starved on the shadows of lies. I have learned through my lifetime, but no less than a newborn baby. Oh, that was short. It was just like a long tweet. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I can do up here. Um... Yeah, it was down here that had the thing I could insert my sword into. So I'm going to try to insert my sword inside of that thing, and if I can't, then I think I need to go back to go and do the the Gift of Forever chapter page, and probably that'll give me access to new rooms that I need to progress. Mm, let's see. Nope, and that looks like it's the same symbol on there as was in the dresser, so that's the one I need. Okay. Alright, let's do the Gift of Forever. Dreams. Modern psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, Dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. you for years, yet you ignore all my advances. You dominate my dreams, and I can think of nothing else. I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Kareem. For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Kareem. If you truly desire me, as you say, then you will find this for me. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. I need nothing more than you. You have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise. If I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem. And I shall await you. <laughs> this game's writing is so silly, oh my god. Ah. Alright, what have I got? Talisman. Does that heal me? Ancient talisman that has been in Kareem's family for many generations. It is said to bestow long life on those that have kept it. This item can be used to restore health. Yes. Chakrams? The chakram was a favorite throwing weapon through Central Asia in medieval times. A balanced ring of metal, sometimes beautifully decorated, it would be hurled at an attacker. Heavy chakrams could sever limbs or heads. However, they were not designed to return to the thrower. So it's a circular blade, right? How do you throw it without cutting yourself? Unless it's quite small like a throwing star? 
I don't know. Yeah, so I've got a ranged weapon. And a Tolwar. The Tolwar is a curved blade with a heavy chopping edge. Most Tolwars had a circular hilt and pommel, making them easy to recognize. So I should have access to the same magic. Oh, I don't have the Tome of Eternal Darkness. man's corpse lies fallen. Wounds cover the exposed flesh of his body where his armor has failed. Well, I guess I'll be adding myself here. Here's Anthony. Yep, let's take it. Oh yeah, their size varies, huh? Okay, let's see if we can enchant this real quick. Nice. Look at that tiny little skeleton, he's so cute! Look at it! Yes, you don't get any invincibility when you're doing a finishing move. None whatsoever. I don't even want to kill that one. Look at it, it's so tiny. Look at it, it's a little baby. Oh, I'm gonna leave you. Unless... I maybe have to kill them. I probably do, don't I? Yeah, I think I do. Sorry. Oops. Well, I guess we never actually really went down here, did we? Statuette vaguely resembling a man stands atop a low pedestal. Ooh, another room. I don't think that's the one I need, though. Let's take a look at what it does for us, though. Oh, and let's look at this, too. Seems particularly heavy for its size. So do we know the new room? No, we don't. But that doesn't necessarily stop us from making a new spell with it. Okay, so let's try new one plus Magormor. No. New one plus Anterbok. No. 
New one plus new one? Nah. Looks like this caved in here. Arcane Shrine dominates the room. Braziers surround, it, surround its edge while a larger one tops its summit. No doubt each one would be filled with incense to facilitate prayer to insidious deities. is the one I need. Yes, that's it. Or this codex, I guess. Uliauth. That's been mentioned before. I forgot where exactly, but someone mentioned that name. They can't be used in a new spell yet, right? No. Statuette vaguely resembling a man. Hmm. This one's darker and weirder than the other one. Do I need to place down the other one here? No. Seems particularly heavy for its size. What if that's going to set off a trap or something? Hmm. I wonder if I could light these with the torch. Also, did I try to enchant the torch? I probably did, it doesn't work. Oh, can I enchant any of these? That doesn't work. Oh, I think I know what I need to do, sort of. I noticed as I was running around here, sometimes you hear this noise. Yeah, if you stand on these, it makes some of the... braziers, braziers, light up. So I probably need to place these on top of them. Aha. Oh, hello. So if I don't move, I'm fine, right? Yeah. If I just move very slowly... Okay, so what did that actually accomplish, though? This thing raised up, but, like, I can't do anything with it. Do I need to go back now? I can't pick these up. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> if you touch them even while you're sneaking, you do go back here. Oh, wow! 
There's some big monsters, huh? Looks like it gets harder the more you come back here. Hmm. Ooh. You can't- Oh! You can attack me from there. Okay. I'm waiting for purple... Which purple are you gonna take me to? Good. The good one. This is the good place. The shrine has risen from the floor, exposing what appears to be a lifting mechanism. Should Kareem use the device to descend? Yes. Wouldn't it be a descending mechanism? 